Welcome to my channel. It is almost the end of summer and as a farewell, I decided to draw a young girl on the beach. Before telling you more about what I am doing, I will tell you a little bit about myself and my aim for this channel. I have been drawing on and off since I was a little girl. Unfortunately sometimes life gets in the way of the things that bring us joy, which for me is drawing. However life taught me to always try to find or make time for the things that make you happy. Something that you might find helpful is to always carry with you a pen or pencil and paper, maybe highlighters or colored pencils if you prefer. You can choose to use the simplest or the fanciest items you have. Whenever you are waiting, having a break, eating lunch, every chance you have, get that paper and stationery out and sketch, doodle and draw. Remember the aim is not to create a masterpiece, but to relax and have fun. This channel has been created with all of you in mind, to help each other and motivate each other. Follow my videos and draw with me anything you want, share your art, your advice and experience. Let's help each other find time to do what we enjoy. Now let's draw and have fun. I finalized the sketch before I started coloring. On the left you can see the thumbnails. Most of the time before starting the final piece I do simple small sketches to decide the pose. I usually do the line art first, this time I switch things around. The idea was to try and make everything look looser and keep the colors free, rather than using the color within the lines approach. If you try this technique, let me know if you like it. As you will see I was not convinced, and halfway through I decided to add the line art. I felt like I could not see what the drawing needed, in regards to colors, shading and so on, without the line art. Maybe it is because I am not experienced enough or I am too used to color while having a line art. In this drawing I wanted to show the four main words that come to my mind with summer, which are childhood, beach, fun and play. The final pose is of her running on the beach, playing with her friends and siblings. The braids have been picked up by the wind and tossed around her. The placement directs the eye of the person watching the drawing to focus on her and her face. I have added the lifesaver ring to emphasize her youthfulness. If you would like to join me on this journey, please like and subscribe and remember to switch on notifications not to miss my next release. I do not have a lot of alcohol markers, and most of them are so old that the nibs are fraying, so I was limited with the choice of colors. Pink is one of my favorite colors, so for her swimsuit and ring, I chose that color, and matched it with its complementary color, which is green. 
For the skin, I used one of the few alcohol markers which I bought recently. They are the Illustrator by Spectrum Noir. These are my first markers with brush nib. The other brands I used are Touch 5 and Graphite, both have chisel nib and bullet nib. Once I begin shading, you can see the drawing starting to pop out from the page. Use the darkest colors to push things back, while the lighter color pushes that area forward. Add the darker color to the hair behind her head, to the forehead beneath her hair. Every place where the light is not touching. If you love summer and the beach, leave a heart in the comments. I love adding rosy cheeks. She looks so cute. I am using a blue metallic gel pen on the eyes to make them sparkle. Here is where I decided to add the line art, before continuing with the shading. I am using a Sakura Pigma Micron size 03, color black. These are my favorite fine liners. To finish and make her shine, I am adding the final details with gel pens. I 
I am also adding a white border around her, with white gel pen, to make her pop further out from the background. This was a mistake, as once I added the background, I had to go over it again. Next time I will leave it until the end. This is how it looks, before adding the background. I watched some tutorials and decided to use watercolors to add the beach. I am using the wet on wet technique. We are almost at the end. Soon is the reveal. If you had fun as much as I did, please join me for my next video. Thank you for watching. And remember to have fun.